Tonight, family, friends, and sailors are mourning. Police confirm what most of them already knew. Someone shot and killed Brandon Haith. It happened early yesterday morning in Virginia Beach. The Georgia native served on the USS Elrod. Tonight, people gathered for a vigil in Haith's honor along the same street where he died. Ten on your side's Matt Gregory talked with people at that vigil. Matt? Deanna, they said Brandon Haith loved life, his family, and especially his friends. And while those friends remembered him today, they also want justice for him. A day after his friend and shipmate died on Barberton Drive, Stephen Joyce continued his makeshift memorials. I felt the need that he needed not only just hats on a pole or a cross in a tree, but he needed like his, his own place. Under a blue cross he carved for his Navy brother, Joyce cleared a spot for a quiet vigil, a few yards from where Brandon Haith died. Joyce says his friend was a quartermaster assigned to the USS Elrod. If I could do more, I would. If I could bring him back, I would. Um, but you can't bring back something that's already gone. With sticks and pine cones, Haith's shipmate made a spot for him, a place with a message of hope for a life taken too soon. When the memorial finally finished, Joyce led loved ones, friends, and even strangers of Haith in a remembrance ceremony. It's looking down upon us, and it's not just a thank you. It's more of like if an angel was to give you a hug, then that's what he would be doing. They remembered not how he died, but the life he led. Man, I love him. Love him to death. I'm telling that to them. You know, love you, miss, never forgotten, man. As the ceremony wrapped up, Joyce spoke with police. His attention turned to justice. It'd be nice if the person that did the uh, evil thing that they did uh, came forth, not just hid. Because if you was a real person and you can do that to a person, then you could fess up to what you have done. But he wanted Sunday to be a day where he remembered the man who meant so much to him. I guess in Virginia, I'm the closest thing that could have been a family that's here, left from where we were stationed together. Police have not said anything about the circumstances that led up to Haith's death. They also have not released any suspects or motives yet. Ten on Your Side expects to have more this week. In the newsroom, Matt Gregory, Ten on Your Side.